Andre here with Baseball Canada along with Wayne and today guys we want to talk about a uh, trip to the mountains uh, for pitching coach or you're the head coach and you are going to the mountain uh, to uh, talk to your pitcher. So let's start with the reason why you should be considering a trip to the mountain during the course of a game. Yeah Andre there's multiple reasons why a coach will go to the mountain to talk to a pitcher. One might be that the pitcher's struggling and the um, the coach sees an opportunity here to kind of change the pace. So it could be it could be also when you say struggling, it could be a couple of walks, could be hits, like having a hard time. Yeah, yeah. or getting frustrated. Right. You can see okay. the frustration on the pitcher's right. face, so the coach will go out and have a conversation. Okay. It might result in the coach actually changing the pitcher. So I mean, that's an obvious reason why a coach would go out to the mound. Could that be also? Um, Maybe you suspect an injury, an incomfort, or whatever arm. You maybe think that the arm's sore, and you want to check it out. Yeah, you can see things like drops in velocity or accuracy of the pitches that uh, are varying now. And there's little signs that a coach will pick up that'll say, you know, there might be something wrong. So it's a good idea to go out and check because we all know that athletes will try to fight through something where. It could do damage that'll take them out of the game for quite a while. And one indication of that is if you ask your pitcher, are you okay? You want to continue? And the answer is always yes. Yeah, you want to come absolutely. Yeah. One other reason that the coach will go out to the mound too will be to look at strategy. Because it may, you know, we're looking at the batting order of the other team coming up now. And it may be just to reinforce, you know, what we want right. to do, how we want to pitch certain hitters coming up in the lineup. So, so a question I'm being asked all the time by people watching baseball on TV is that, What's being said, like when there's a meeting between the pitcher and, 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 and his coach or her coach, what's being said at that particular moment? So what are the key elements that are being discussed during those meetings? Well, that's a good question because it really depends on the circumstances. Of course. Sometimes it's just a matter of trying to build a little bit of confidence in the pitcher if you know their accuracy is varying a little bit, that type of thing. The one thing that you probably don't hear from good coaches when they go out to the mound, they say to the pitcher, throw strikes. You probably don't hear that from a good coach because yeah. what is a pitcher actually trying to do exactly. while they're other? They're trying to throw strikes. Yeah. Yeah. Coaches will go out sometimes to make minor adjustments. They may see something like a pitcher maybe getting a little tired and starting to rush their delivery. Uh, the pitching coach or the manager might pick up on something like that and just go out and remind them that, hey, you need to slow down, you know, stay within yourself, follow your process. And you also mentioned strategy earlier as being a reason why it could be a visit. So I'm assuming also that uh, some of the discussion could be around the fact that we're anticipating a bunt, for an example, just to validate the movement of the infielder. It might be a uh, quick reminders about who's coming to hit and what type of approach we're going to have towards these uh, upcoming batters. So that would meet a little bit the, the reason of around strategy, right? Oh, absolutely. And the coach may detect that a pinch hitter's coming up that changes the process that the, uh, the pitching coach may have set out for this pitcher at that particular time. So it's a reminder of how to deal with those batters up to that point and maybe to give some information about the pinch hitter. And wrapping up this, this video, guys, if you are going to talk to your pitcher, make sure that you leave your pitcher uh, with a better mindset than he or she was before you arrived. Whether it's motivation, words that you can share with your pitcher, uh, some uh, some uh, word of wisdom uh, in order for your pitcher to have uh, better performance uh, after your visit.